So the purpose of this video is to have feedback for our second activity that had two questions. The first question was something similar to suppose f of x equal 3x plus 5 over uh, 9x plus 7. And so we want to find, uh, find f of f of x. So we will feed uh, f into itself. Uh, the inner function is f and the outside function is f in this case. Let me change color. So uh, f of f of x equals. So here's a three from the numerator. Instead of x, I have to put the entire f of x. 3x plus 5 over 9x plus 7. And here's my plus 5. And uh, in the denominator, I have 9, 3x plus 5 over 9x plus 7. Uh, and I have a plus 7 outside. Now, many of you, unfortunately, at this point, decided that you can um, go ahead and simplify uh, this three with this nine. You can't do that unless if everything in the numerator is a product. So this plus right here, and this plus right here, they both stop us from you know, simplifying like that. This is not, if this was three times the rational function times five over nine times three x plus five over nine x plus seven times seven, then yeah, if you had a product on the numerator and on the denominator, you could cancel, but not the way it is at the moment. All right. So what's to do? What I have to do is I have to combine the numerator. I have to combine the denominator. So what do I need? I need least common denominator. Remember that this five, in fact, is five over one, and this seven here is seven over one with the denominator of one. So a baby step here to do that I personally prefer to do is to say f of f of x equals, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply the three, distribute this three, and distribute this nine. So here's what I get. I get nine um, x plus fifteen over nine uh, x plus seven plus five over one over. Uh, 27x plus 15 over 9x plus 7. And plus in the denominator, 7 over 1. Now, at this point also, remember that I cannot simplify the 9 in here and then with this 9. I cannot simplify that 27x with 9 because I have a plus in here. I have a plus in here. I don't have a product. So let me get rid of all these arrows to, all right. 
And now here for five over one, I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom of that fraction by nine X plus seven, nine X plus seven to have my least common denominator. I'm gonna multiply the denominator by nine X plus seven, nine X plus seven. Okay, so now let me go ahead and go to the next page. So I will have f of f of x equals uh, distributing uh, distributing the um, let me go back to this page. Here's what I mean. So notice that in the denominator, this is my LCD and I'm considering this big fraction and my least common denominator is nine X plus seven from for both top and bottom of this big fraction. So let's go to this here and uh, give myself a little bit more room, put the line in here. So the denominator for both of them are 9x plus 7, 9x plus 7, and 9x plus 7. I probably choose a different color so it's easier to see. So on the very top, I have um, 9x plus 15, 9x plus 15. Then I have five times nine X, then I have 45 X plus uh, five times seven is 35. On the denominator, I have a 27 X plus 45. And then I have uh, seven times nine gives me 63 X plus 63 X. And then uh, seven uh, times seven is 49 plus 49. Okay. And now a good way of seeing this, I know some of you just at this point cancel the nine X plus seven with nine X plus seven and that's perfectly correct. But the reason you can do that for the rest of you who missed that is that would you agree that I can multiply the top and bottom of this main fraction by nine X plus seven over one and nine X plus seven over one. I hope you say this, you say yes. <laughs> so now notice that I can cancel this with this and I can cancel this with this. So now let's continue. F of F of X equals, on the top I have nine X and 45 X, nine X and 45 X gives me grand total of 54 X. And then I have 15 and 35, that gives me grand total of 50. In the denominator, I have 27X and 63X, that gives me 90X. 45 and 49 gives me 94, 94, okay. So remember that in Math 141, it is expected for us to factor and simplify at every step that we can. Let me go ahead and factor a two out of, so let me give myself a little bit more room in here and factor a two out from numerator and the denominator. So on the top, 
I do have 27x plus 25 on the denominator. What did I do? On the denominator, I have uh, two times 45x plus 47. And now that I have a product, now I can cancel these two with this two because that's two times this pro, you know, two times 27x plus 25. And in the denominator, I have two times 45x plus 47. So now that I have product, I can go ahead and cancel. So my final answer is uh, 27x plus 25 over 45x plus 47. Okay. Uh, there was the second problem for this activity. Okay. Let me go to the next page. Second problem was something like f of x equal 5x squared minus 3 and find average rate of change for interval say uh, 5 comma b and we know that average rate of change average rate of change equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a and a being the first value b being of course the second value in this case b anyways so what is f of f of b is just you know all I have to do is put the b instead of x, so I have five times b to the second minus three. What is f of a? f of a equals five times five to the second minus three. That's five to the second is 25 times five is 125 minus three, and that gives me 122. 122. So now I'm going to go to the next page, use my formula. Uh, so I'm going to have um, average rate of change, average rate of change equals f of b, we said is uh, phi b to the second minus three. And minus f of a that we decided was 122 over the second value minus the first value, b minus a, in this case, five. All right, let's simplify that. That equals five b to the second minus 125 over b minus five. And some of you just left it there dangling. Please don't do that. You are now taking a college course, a math uh, college course, and you can't just leave things uh, the way they are. You need to simplify. Notice that if I uh, factor of five out, then I have b to the second minus 25 over b minus five. And notice that on the numerator here, I have difference of two scores. So five times B plus five times B minus five. All over B minus five. Being able to factor using difference of two scores was, you know, is a prerequisite for Math 141. If you don't know how to do that, email me. I'll uh, put a video for you on Canvas. Now, notice that I can cancel b minus 5 with b minus 5. So the final answer is going to be um, 5 times 
b plus 5, uh, or you could say 5b plus 25. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks.